Greetings, Poké fans! Michael here, and I asked you all what Pokémon you most want to see get a regional form or evolution in Pokémon Scarlet and Violet. And today, I'm gonna be reacting to your picks. I think a regional Tauros would be cool. Agreed. But I'd really love to see a regional variant for Seal. I've seen multiple fan variants for the Dugong line, and I'd love to see what Game Freak can do to now make Seal and Dugong less dull. I mean, I certainly agree that Seal and Dugong are very dull. <laughs> I made a video, I believe it was last fall, where I talked about every Kanto Pokemon that never got any sort of new attention, like a new evolution, a regional form, a Mega, a Gigantamax, or an, even a new type, I included that. And Seal and Dugong were one of those Pokemon. And I believe I asked you all, what could you even do to it? Show me some fan art that would work. And then some showed up on meme review that I thought was pretty good. Here was one of them. I thought it was pretty cute. But what I really loved about it was this new evolution. This is fire. Actually, it's water rock. Please forget I made that joke. And here was another one. I also thought this one was really cool, making it look ferocious instead of derpy. Big fan. I would like to see Wooper get a regional form. What? You? Ashton? Seeing Wooper, my favorite Pokemon, become grass or bug type would be awesome. Interesting. Wooper hasn't gotten much ever since it was introduced to the Pokemon world, so if we got some kind of cool new form, it would be the best. It's unlikely, but still possible. Uh, it is certainly possible. Quagsire has never gotten any sort of other form before. So I'd be down to see Wooper and Quagsire get something. I think that's fun. I will say it would probably be a downgrade in regards to like usefulness because water ground is one of the best typings in the game. But Wooper is adorable and it would be fun to see more Whoopy boys. I hadn't really thought of that. Mighty Anna is my favorite Pokemon though. Oh, what a unique favorite. And maybe you could do a regional form based on an Iberian wolf or something. Ah, Iberian wolf. They're like regular wolves, but a little skinnier. Mighty Anna is certainly one that could get a regional form. Hasn't gotten anything before. I would be surprised though, because the other early game Hoenn Pokemon, Zigzagoon, just got one. That's not to say it's impossible. And I think they could do some really cool stuff with Mightyena, but I would be surprised just due to its proximity to Zigzagoon and Zigzagoon just having gotten something. But if they do something for Mightyena, they kind of need to give it an evolution. They made the right call giving Linoon an evolution. Mightyena would need one too, because its base stats are similar to Linoon's which is not good. Yeah, Linoon has 420, uh, eh, you know. And Mighty Anna actually has the exact same thing. So yeah, definitely would need an evolution. Well, I gotta say, it's kind of surprising Mighty Anna's is so low, cause look at this thing, it's fierce. I'd like to see Talo and Swallow get a regional form and maybe even a new evolution. Definitely a new evolution. Okay, it's based that total is higher than I thought, but I still feel like that's too low. They're pretty underrated Pokemon and I feel deserve some attention. I think it should be electric flying type variant based on Thunder Armor Swallow from the anime. Uh, electric flying would be awesome, but don't get your hopes up on it being based on the Thunder Armor Swallow from the anime. Which, side note, can we talk about how absurd that was? I remember this episode as a kid. It's when Ash is uh, battling Tate and Liza. So instead of using his freaking Grovile or Corfish, you know, the Pokemon super effective against the rock types. He uses Pikachu and Swallow. And how he wins is having Pikachu use thunder on itself and Swellow, and instead of just killing Swellow, it does this and makes them insanely powerful. Anime logic is on another plane of existence, and there is no way we get a Swellow based on this. I mean, we could get an electric flying Swellow. I would love to see more electric flying Pokemon in general. But anyways, I'm down for a new Swellow. The only regional bird to get any kind of new form so far has just been Pidgeot. And I think some of the regional birds could use use some buffing. Truthfully, I would like to see a new Lucario. Ah, here's my thinking on Lucario. I don't think it deserves one. It's already an extremely popular Pokemon and it's already gotten a mega evolution. But since it got a mega, I don't think so. Okay, all right, you understand. However, they have given forms to Pokemon that don't deserve them before. The Kanto starters, Charizard specifically, because they're popular. So I could see them doing it, even though I don't think it should. And I won't deny, I feel like there are some cool designs that they could make. But still, also I would say Lycanroc, but that already has alternate forms. Yeah, I don't think Lycanroc's happening. It's still very recent. So Gen 6 Pokemon got forms in Gen 8. We got Avalug and Gudra. So that's a two generation difference. 
However, it is from the start of Gen 6 when those Pokemon were introduced and the end of Gen 8. So while Gen 7 Pokemon getting forms in Gen 9 is possible, I would be kind of surprised if they were added at the start of Gen 9. Plus, with Lycanroc, it already has so many different forms, you'd have to make a lot of different regional forms for it. Maybe they'll finally add a Dawn form, but I doubt it. So I think Gliscor should get some love. Yes! Maybe Bug Dark. No, get stop that. No, no, not Bug Dark. <laughs> Give me an electric flying Gliscor. I came up with this design many years ago. The design... I just, I just recolored it and put a lightning bolt on its forehead. But an electric flying Gliscor would make me squeal with glee. And also it's possible for Gliscor because for a period of time, it seemed like the only Pokemon they were gonna give regional forms to were Pokemon that never got any kind of other attention. No Mega, no Evolution, no nothing. But then we got Galarian Slowpoke, Slowbro, and Slowking. And Slowking counts as extra attention to Slowpoke. And then in Legends Arceus, we got Cleaver which was special attention for Scyther, a Pokemon who had already gotten Scizor, and we got Hisuian Sneasel and Sneasler. Special attention for Sneasel, who already got Weavile. So therefore, Gligar and Gliscor could get regional forms because getting an evolution in a later generation than the one it was introduced in does not preclude a Pokemon from getting a regional form. I will say, I hope they give Gliscor a regional form instead of giving Gligar a different evolution because I'm worried the different evolution wouldn't be as cool as Gliscor. I think a regional variant of Sigilyph would be very interesting. Ooh, not one I see requested often. Perhaps they could be considered a good omen in some myths and were a sign of good luck and wealth. But in other myths, they're considered a bad omen and were a sign of looming disaster and strife. No one of the ancient times of this region knew for sure and couldn't make up their minds, so they decided to make small sacrifices to these sigilif and put out offerings of fruits and veggies to make them happy. Okay, fruits and veggies, hear me out. The orb on its body is just a pumpkin with an eye sticking out the top, so it's grass flying. It's very silly. But I like the lore behind this one. Would love to see Go-Goat get something exciting. Oh, Go-Goat. Like a very promoted Pokemon in Gen 6. Has it appeared a single time? in Gen 7 or 8? No, it is not. I mean, I knew Go-Goat was forgettable because I regularly think that it's grass normal when it's just grass. There was like, oh, like, look, you can ride on Skiddo and like, look, there's the Go-Goat taxi. It's like, oh, look, it's a relevant part of this generation. And then just poof. Poor guy was hyped up leading into X and Y. Yep, only to become hard to find, mediocre in stats, and you can barely call the ordeal in Lumio City riding it. I don't actually know its stats at all. I don't know if I would call that mediocre in stats. <laughs> wow, I didn't know its total was that high. The spread is bad, let's be real. Great HP, if they just took several points from special attack and put him into attack, that would be significantly better. Or speed. I see why it's not good despite the base stat total. Goats are an animal with some ridiculous abilities, and it's a shame the only Pokemon based on them is so underwhelming. A grass rock variant living in the mountains based more on mountain goats would be wonderful. You know what? I've been convinced. Go Goat has completely vanished from the Pokemon lexicon. Let us bring it back and make it more interesting and make it scream. Chimeco is one of my favorite Pokemon. That's not something you read every day. And I think a regional evolution would be a great way for it to get some attention and love. Maybe a psychic flying type and it could become a wind chime and get some weather controlling moves or something. Let's not let another white ball loading gen three Pokemon steal cast forms thunder, literally. I mean, Chimeco is so weird because it needed an evolution and instead of giving it an evolution, they gave it a baby form. And I feel like while I don't really care about Chimeco and it's kind of fun to bag on it, it getting an evolution would be justice that it has deserved for quite some time. <laughs> would love to see improvements to bad shinies. Don't get your hopes up. As well as some new evolutions. Th these are not answering my question. And Pokemon like Dratini's evolution line or Baneri's Evo, Evo, uh, uh, mm. Evo line gets some love. Okay, here we go. Dratini, yes, I am all in favor of a regional Dragonite. Dragonite's been around for so long. It's such a cool, popular Pokemon. I feel like it would be cool if Scarlet and Violet had two main regional pseudo-legendaries, the new one, and a regional variant 
of an older generation one. Legends Arceus did that. Garchomp isn't new, but it is the Sinnoh region's pseudo. But then they also had Hisuian Gudra. So you could use a really OP Pokemon on your team, but you had options. So I'm really hoping for a new pseudo legendary that is not dragon type and a regional variant for Dragonite. But Neri's line, I don't expect that. We got Megalopony. Dark Ghost Dragonite, it's not gonna lose its dragon type. It has dragon in the name. I think it would get its flying type replaced with some kind of land or ocean dwelling type, which would very much upset Team Sky. Honestly, a new evolution for Noctowl would be really nice. I agree. Although we do have two forms for Decidueye, which is an objectively cooler Pokemon than Noctowl. Oh, you're asking for the Stantler treatment. Okay, I can get behind that. I think Electros should get some love because it's a really cool Pokemon, but it's quite forgettable. Ooh, I hadn't thought about Electros. I'd be interested to see a new form, not a new evolution. It's already at the top of the three stage line and already has a really good base stat total, I'm pretty sure. 515, okay, not as good as I thought. Also a bad spread. Why do they do this? Don't make Pokemon's attack and special attack equal unless you make them really fast. Because if they're really fast, then they can outspeed and use either attack or special attack. You don't know what set it's gonna be. But if they're slow, actually any Pokemon with good attack or special attack, they hit really hard, but they either have bad bulk or bad speed, then they're not gonna be any good. You either gotta outspeed or you gotta not outspeed and be able to take hits. I'd love to see Gengar line turn into grass fire type jack-o'-lanterns. I think that would be just awesome. Obviously Gengar gets a lot of special treatment, but it would be so cool, don't deny it. I'm going to deny it. Gengar's already gotten a mega and a Gigantamax. Gengar ain't getting crap. And while a grass fire type jack-o'-lantern would be cool, just make it a new Pokemon. It doesn't need to be Gengar. Vivian's design, depending on real world locations, was a cooler design than just another butterfly. They brought her back with new designs based on actual butterflies in Spain, either based on in-game locations or real world. Not only would it be cool to collect them all, it would create a feeling of variety and size, which would help make the world seem more fleshed out. Uh, I don't think it needs to be Vivian. I think they could do that cool concept of like a bunch of different forms, for a specific Pokemon, but you can get all of them in one game. I just don't think it needs to be Vivian to do that. Poliwrath, one of my favorite Gen 1 Pokemon and one that people give lots of crap to because of it looking similar to Poliwhirl. I would really like to see it based off the Iberian Frog. And a new type would look awesome and be much appreciated for me. Uh, Pokemon 7 would certainly appreciate some new frogs. Here we have the Iberian Frog, which is indeed a frog. Poliwrath being based on this just means it's gonna turn brown or red? A uh, red Poliwrath would look pretty cool. My absolute favorite Pokemon of all time is Yaveltal, and I would love to see it get more attention. Anything would be perfect. Great videos, Mikey. First off, thank you. Second off, never gonna happen. <laughs> that is a box art legendary. The only way Yaveltal is getting any kind of special attention is in some remake that takes place in Kalos. Whether that's a direct remake of X and Y or a new Legends game in Kalos, you're not getting Yaveltal anything until we're back in Kalos. Tropius needs some love, yes! Thank you. One of, if not my favorite Pokemon when Ruby and Sapphire came out, but since then it hasn't received much attention. Actually, none. A pre-evolution, nope. Secondary evolution, yes, would be fantastic. Spain and Portugal's banana cultivation has exploded in the last 30 years. Well, that's a fun that you know that. But original form based on other native fruits, such as avocados, mangoes, cherimoyas, red Spanish pineapples. To Google. Oh, how interesting. That does indeed look like a pineapple. It, it looks like a shiny pineapple. <laughs> Perhaps grass fairy, grass steel, or grass ground. Yeah, I'm hugely in favor of a new tropius form, but also it it needs an evolution. Despite being a dinosaur, a sizable dinosaur, it's like six foot seven, frankly, could be bigger. Its base stat total is only 460 with just a terrible spread. I mean, it's got good HP, but like underwhelming offense, underwhelming bulk and terrible speed. It like, it's kind of eh at everything, which, they did this with so many Hoenn Pokemon that look strong and fully evolved and then they're just not good. So if they give Tropius a new form, they need to evolve it. I don't know how, maybe just make it a bigger dinosaur or something like that. But I love Tropius, I love dinosaurs, I like grass types. 
Tropius needs an evolution. Honestly, the Venonet line has always felt really lacking, especially when compared to pretty much every other Gen 1 bug type. Scyther got an evolution, Pinsir and Beedrill got Megas, and Butterfree got a Gigantamax. That there's pretty interesting looking maws in the IRL Iberian Peninsula that could make for a cool regional form evolution. Uh, Parasect got uh, demon status in Legends Arceus, so it, there's that. I kind of have mixed feelings about Venomoth getting anything. I mean, I do see, you know, it is the only, well, not only, but it and Parasect are the only Gen 1 bugs to not have gotten anything. However, I'm not really sure what they would do because I feel like we've got, a, we've got a lot of butterflies and moths, guys. Maybe they could do something with Mothman, but I feel like that would be a stretch. I'd like to see a regional variant of Aggron because I think it would look cool. I also think Aggron is a cool Pokemon. Uh, it did get a Mega Evolution, so I don't think it's a top candidate. Tauros having a fighting type variant might be cool. Give us Minotauros. I don't want free starter handouts like an X and Y, but I really did appreciate getting regional variants of starters like in Legends Aquus. I think it would be fun to see some different starters that don't get much love. Chikorita to maybe get a regional variant. Definitely after a fire grass type though. Yeah, fire grass, give us that. As for the starter variants though, my feeling behind that is that the only way we're going to get regional variants for previous generation starters is if there's more Legends games. Because honestly, that's a really cool way to do it. Instead of having to design brand new starters, you get three ones that normally are not together and give them really cool fully evolved forms. While they have given new forms to older gen starters before, they gave the mega evolutions to the Kanto starters in gen six, then they gave the Gigantamax forms to the Kanto starters in gen eight. For that to happen, we kind of need there to be some kind of new form changing gimmick and I don't anticipate getting that. I'd like to see a new form of Toxicroak. They could base it off of the Spanish painted frogs and make it a far more calm and peaceful Pokemon based mainly around camouflage and perhaps a regional evolution based on the giant toad. I'm intrigued. Okay, the Spanish painted frog certainly looks adept at camouflage and the giant Frogs or toads are indeed pretty big. I accept your proposal. Give us a not mean Toxicroak that camouflages and then gets big. I'd absolutely love to see a new regional variant of Porygon. Maybe one based off the relics of the Romans from the Iberian Peninsula, just more of a traditional Spanish almost, what? I, how though? Because Porygon was like created in the 90s. How could you have a Porygon based off of ruins that wouldn't make more sense. You could have a regional Porygon based on like, I don't know, the difference between imperial and metric measurement systems. And also I'm pretty sure both Japan and Spain metric, so that doesn't really work. I'd love to see gen two Pokemon get more attention in general in the form of new evolutions and regional variants. I mean, they've gotten a lot. They got a lot of new evolutions in gen four for the record, particularly the Macario line and maybe the Sunflora line. I frankly couldn't care less about Sunflora. I've never really liked it, but Macargo I'm down for. I actually designed an Alolan Macargo years ago where it cools off and it becomes grass rock. Uh, so that'd be interesting. I really want a regional form of Chandelure. It's my favorite Pokemon that isn't a starter or legendary slash mythical. So I'd love to see it get some more love. I think a cool steel electric form of it being more of a street light would be cool and fit right in with the big city and gas station like buildings we see in the trailers. Gas station like buildings? Anyways, I'm down for a new form of chandelure, different kind of lamp. I would honestly love to see a regional ghastly. No, stop it with the Gengar line or Esper. That that Esper's fine. I really want to see Volbeat and Illumise get some love. That's a weird thing to say. I mean, I get that they're like incredibly forgettable and like dumb Pokemon, but I feel like they can just stay that way and we can give new forms to cool Pokemon that have been underappreciated. I'd love to see Gardevoir get a Flamenco Dancer variant that's Fire Fairy and Gallade get a Bullfighter variant that's Fire Fighting. I must mention that they both got Megas and therefore I don't think they're the most deserving. Those are really cool ideas. <laughs> a regional Obama Snow would be really cool. It does have a Mega, but gain fire or ground typing to pair with grass since ice grass is true. Iberia's Mediterranean climate would suit for a different type of Obama Snow, and I know we've all been wanting fire grass. It's a wildfire Obama Snow. <laughs> It's a, what Obama snow happens to the climate change. Oh, this is getting a little real. Since Farfetch'd has an evolution in Switch, I want Dunsparce to get one. I think we can all agree that Dunsparce could use some love. Oh, and the one right below it. I know this idea has been mentioned a lot, but Dunsparce needs an evolution. Some kind of dragon serpent like from Pokemon Uranium would be great. Yeah, give it to me. Original Maractus and Cacturn would be cool. A Firegrass combo would really give them some love. I also came up with a really cool uh, regional variant for Cacturn a couple years ago, it basically based on prickly pears. 
and it's a grass fighting type instead. I don't know if it's super likely because prickly pears are more native to the Americas, which side note, why are they giving us another European country when they could have given us anywhere in South America or Africa? or Australia, or India. I could go on. I really like Gigalith. Me too. It getting more attention through a regional variant would be awesome. Agreed. An unused typing like Rock Ghost or Ground Fairy. Ground Fairy, I would be surprised, but a Rock Ghost Gigalith, where instead of little skinny parts collecting its feet, they're just floating separately. Ooh. That's where I'm gonna wrap it up for this video. Thank you so much for watching with an extra special thanks to my patrons over on Patreon who are helping support my channel independent of fluctuating YouTube ad rates. If you wanna help support me in the same way, the link is in the description below. And if you wanna check out some more of my fun Pokemon content, I recommend these videos here. All right, that's all I have for now. So until next time, big fans, gotta catch them all.